Hi everyone, welcome back. I've had a request to do some pansies for the uh, the paintings that we're doing for the holidays and Christmas painting and gift giving and stuff. So I think I'll do that. I'll do a couple of uh, little pansies for you. I've painted them a couple times in some of the uh, different classes like the S105 and color theory and stuff. But uh, let's do some here right now. So I have a board here. I base coated it with the gray uh, color, which was my medium white and a uh, light gray one to one sanded it even sanded through a little bit but that i'm not going to worry about it because i'm going to push some colors into the background let's start out first set my normal palette and matter of fact i just cleaned it up here this is the hansa yellow darya light yellow yellow oxide uh naps all red light burnt sienna pine green phthalo blue quinacridone violet red violet and white and i'm going to take some of my white and my Thalo blue. Um, since I'm going to do some yellow pansies, I might kick this over to the violet side just a bit more. Let's add quite a bit of white, lighten this up. I love this color uh, in streaked into the backgrounds here of my color. I'm going to put a little extender in it, not really to keep it wet, but um, my white is so thick, and uh, this will uh, help that uh, disperse a little bit into it. But you can do it with just water too. And I'm going to push some of this right into my background here. And uh, I'll leave some of that other coloring in there. Matter of fact, every once in a while, I'm just going to add a little water over here. Might want to push a little light color back into there. Just, you know, I, I, I do this. This is the contemporary type of looks. And I do this just to add some interest, just to push some stuff around. Now, sometimes I like to to push colors. Now, one of the things we'll be doing is some yellow pandy. So... Let's just push a little bit of uh, uh, yellow and stuff through, um, make a color mark here and there. Um, sometimes I do this before, sometimes afterwards, but uh, just breaks that all up. Now, see, none of those uh, sand through marks matter at all, okay? So now I'll set that brush in the water for a second. I'm going to take, um, I think this is a number 10. <laughs> it's been, I've cleaned it up several times, but... Uh, I keep covering up. It's a 10. It's a number 10. Uh, let's uh, put in some colors here that we might want to use on some panties. Now, I want to do some blue ones, um, maybe a blue-violet type of one. So I'll take some of that blue, little blue, violet, maybe some of this background color here, lighten this up, and um, we'll, uh, we'll push in. Let's do a little designing, a little bit of the blue area here. Now, see, I'll... Uh, I'm just going to push in to see, you know, see the colors and stuff and, you know, I can change it and stuff later. Let's take a little bit of our reds. We, we're going to want to have some version of some red pansies here. So some reds. And I'm just going to be really casual for right now. Some reds. A little color marks. Maybe there'll be a red and yellow one up here. Because so the blue one could have some yellow and stuff on it too. And uh, we'll push just push these colors around. See, this is what I like to do. I like to, to push colors around, push the colors around. And uh, then we'll go in and refine it. And we'll take out something that we don't like. It's easy to take it out. Because we're gonna we're painting this contemporary. So let's put uh, a little lay, maybe a little lighter yellow pansy in there. Um some of that lighter yellow. We're going to keep this kind of simplistic. I'm just looking at the color traveling through the blue. I don't have to worry about too much because it does travel through already. Um, and uh, let's take some of that yellow out of the brush. Let's go into some of my favorite pine green and burnt sienna. Not that I'm in a rut or anything. I just love this. We'll stroke some of this through right in here. Just be very casual. Move this around like this right now. And... Uh, you know, this is that lovely contemporary type of looks that I love. Um, let's uh, get a little bit more contrast right there into the center, right in here. Some of that color going through in there. Um, as we come out, let's thin it out here. Maybe add a little bit of our blue background to that here. And um, we could get a little bit more structured of a leaf, which is one of the things I like to do. As I leave the areas, uh, let's put a little edge maybe of a pansy uh, here 
that might come down. Use the chisel of your brush to kind of give some ideas of some some movement, some color movement here. Um, stem lines and movements and stuff like that through. Uh, I like to uh, add those in so you can get some of this nice movement here. Some other colors coming down here. Um, you can make some uh, softer leaf shapes and stuff here. And pansy leaves are a little bit less oval here. We'll just pull through just a bit. So I'm just kind of sketching all of this. I can change really easy. Uh, I'm not worried about the, you know, the, the details of it because it's really easy to change when you're painting contemporary looks. Um, here I'll pull in just a bit on this leaf and create, uh, let's just use the chisel there and create the, you know, a little edge of that leaf and stuff there. That pansy will go there, that one will go there. I don't want to get wrapped up in tons of pansies, but it'd be fun to, to have a few uh, just little parts of some showing through or colors of some so you would just make a color mark. Let's make a let's make a color mark right down through here. Just let that carry down through. You know, does that turn into a pansy? It may not need to be. You know, it may not need to be. Um, we'll see. Okay, let's um, let's maybe shape this one. Let's start to shape one. Um, maybe some of the red, the darker red, into the back petals. Let's take red and red violet. Let's make the back. The big back, what I call the Mickey Mouse ears on the pansy here. Um, sometimes you can override a little bit. Sometimes I, and I'll just push in and out. Let some of that light color come through them like that. Let some of that dark, we can put lights on there later. Let's um, go lighter, almost to a white, maybe a little bit of yellow in there. Kind of a peachy color. That's pretty to do some of the light front the three light front petals now sometimes i make that front that petal that big front petal that has what i call the smile in it so i'll make that one here right like that boy i've been doing pansies and all different kinds of pansies for years so we'll push that in let's put just a bit more red in it and we'll make a little side petal here. One coming in. Vary it. Don't make it a perfect round. Vary some of the shape a little bit there. Like that. And uh, let's put one in here. Maybe drooped out and down and up and in. Let it come up and in. Like that. That's kind of pretty. Okay, that's that's kind of a nice shape for that one. Here, let's... um make uh, this blue one blue and white so we'll get a little light blue kind of color here let's make the front petal of it right here we might go even more white here and let that come right up into that what we call the face painting the face of the pansy there and maybe just a bit more white here See, I love my dirty brush coming out with some of these other colors that keeps coming kind of a harmony to, you know, to the, to the pansies here as they carry all these different colors and stuff to them. And uh, then we can go to those back petals. Let's go uh, a little bit more violet here. So we'll take a little violet, even some of this background color here. And... Uh, you know, you can make pansies, all different kinds of colors. You know, it just makes them wonderful. Some of these colors would be kind of pretty. They might change just a bit, but they're kind of pretty. Let's take our yellow here. Yellow oxide and white. Not get too bright yet. Maybe just a touch of the haunts. I just don't want to get too bright yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. We want to make one kind of turned here. So they're not all facing the same way. So here I'll kind of imagine this front side 
side plane of it. You know, this 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 has been up and turned like that, and uh, maybe just some ideas of those pinks and stuff right here like that, just sitting into the back. We'll let that mostly just blur off. Just like that, some of that pink. That's pretty. We can take some of this uh, light. Maybe this is going to be the edge of one of those as well. And uh, so we just see a bit of it and some different coloring here. You don't, you know, we don't have to, you, you don't, when you're painting these little guys here, you don't have to do anything perfect because the viewer already sees pansies. It's like this. They'll see this is back pansies back there. You don't have to do anything but just maybe streak a little color back there and you know they'll see it as a as a back pansy back there so you don't have to do you know a whole lot really back there okay so I was just looking my hand was maybe here in my water with all my brushes from all the other paintings so I did that little bird and boy I'm gonna get a smaller brush here like a four um a six would be better. This one, yeah, this one's fine. Six. Um, I used, I, I painted the, the bird and the scrolls, which is in there. And I used a whole bunch of those uh, the different brushes. You know, normally I paint with one or two brushes. And so that one, I used a ton of them. But uh, anyway, it was a lot of fun. Let's go in and let's pick up some light color here. And uh, let's start setting some some of our light source here. So I'm just going to pull out here with some white and then push that into the shape there of the uh, pansy. And I love the broken edges and stuff that you can create here with these. And uh, let's put a little bit into this edge here. Pull that in here and maybe that light pulls in. In like that, pulling out there. That's good. All different kinds of ways to do these. You know, I painted it. Those who are in some of the different classes, um, painted Couchois style and some of the other styles are just really a lot of fun and different. You know, then and you put all of those together as an artist, and it kind of influences you you know, of what you're going to do and coming up with your own kind of style or what's going to define you as an artist. Let's take some of the light pinks, that white, and uh, put it in. And right now, all I'm doing is just breaking up some of these tones, getting a few other little things into there, a few other little colors. And uh, it's, you know, I end up painting these things like four or five times to get some interest into them. Then I'll, you know, I'll slow down and put the face in, the other colors in and stuff like that. But uh, I like painting, but I like the chunky, thicker colors and pulling in like this and giving at least the ones today that I'm gonna do and pull in like this and just leave some, some movement and push your finger in and out of that movement like that. You know, so you get that nice movement to them. I don't like that bumpity bump right there on that edge of that pansy, so I'm just gonna put a little light in there like that, see, and just push it. it. You try not to have like where you can see the strokes. Now, I know some people paint pansy with it, like all these, like I saw one that had all these cute combinations of strokes, and I was like, what, man? Um, I don't know, It's it, it was just too much for me. I like to see variation into them and, uh, you know, variation of color, variation of stroke movements and stuff. I don't like to see repetitive strokes. I don't like to, I, I used to be, let me just say it this way. I used to be that way, <laughs> you know, and now today in my journey, I'm, I'm a little bit different. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying that what I like now today is totally different from what I used to, how I used to view all of this stuff. But see, I work these colors. Let's even put a little bit of that blue and stuff into there. That's where these get pretty. 
is where they get all these different colors and stuff coming into them. And uh, that's where the interest comes in. Uh, into them and building them like that put the blue put a little bit of the pinks and stuff in as they're coming in we'll add some yellows and some different things but we're kind of kind of following uh you know the the shape of the petals coming in but i don't want to make stiff strokes i want to just push the color let's go back let's add some of this nice light this nice light um mm -hmm violet color back here you know around push that in and out there let's go up here and and even a, a touch of haunts at this time a little lighter just lay that down as a as a stroke of this petal of that pansy there maybe a bit of light color with it here set like an edge there of the light color maybe that's a folded over little petal you don't need to do that much see you don't need to do that much let's just pull out a little bit of that yellow oxide here maybe streak a little bit of that pink there something like that you don't need to do that much let's go work on some uh, faces here i love the red violets and reds but the red violets just are just so beautiful into the faces here. First, let's start out with the quinacridone violet. Maybe a bit of the blue in there just to soften that out. And we'll pull this in and out like that. You can push it in and out a bit. Here, like that. Softens it into the flower. Use the chisel of the brush on some of the smaller ones there. And like that pull that out and then you're going to want to touch some some dark some darks in there as well that's going to be your contrast here some of the red violet pull that out and you know I end up you know I'll paint back and forth because I'll come back here with some light color in just a minute so I'll paint back and forth through some of this. Like I'll take some of this light, maybe even some of this light blue here, and come right back through that here, there like that. And we'll pick up some white. And maybe just hit and pull into that. And try to vary the amount that you're using here. So. You know, when you bring these lines in and stuff here, they come in differently here. So, you know, the amount that you're using here and pulling some of this, let's get a little bit of that blue. I love that color in there as well. There you go. Something like that. Now you can take this light all the way back here and separate some of your petals there too. So. You can see you can have some of that nice light on the on the um, the uh, front and stuff, and still separate the petals. Let's put a bit of this chiseled in and out of here for the back. Let's see a little bit of that movement coming out, and uh, some of that light violet here. Model it up in your brush so it doesn't always come out perfect. It's not always one color, it comes out multiple colors. That's where they get pretty, when different colors start to come out. Let's just pick up a little blue and just hit the edge of that, push in and out a bit, get that nice movement in and out. Build a, a bit more, maybe build another stroke off of this little face right here, going out a little bit more, a little different color there um nice little dark dark right into the center there that's going to allow us to put the little smile on here there like that that's kind of pretty and uh, let's put some of that dark 
right into this one. So I paint back and forth. It doesn't really make a difference, really, if, uh, you know, you start out super dark, put all your super darks on, and then come put some lighter quinacridone on top of it and stuff, you know. Or you can start out with some lighter quinacridone like this. Stroke that around. And um, then come back with some dark. So, But you can start dark first. So don't get locked into, you know, this is a rule or this is a, the only technique you're going to do. So there I did quinacridone. Then I'll pull out with just a bit of the red-violet just to give a little bit more interest to it and um, those kind of, that's kind of pretty there and then we will uh, pick up a little more light more on kind of the reddish side here a light red and I'll sometimes just touch and just lightly drag in like that so I create a little bit of that feathery edge there sometimes I go back with a you know a little liner brush and do something and sometimes I am um, just use the feathery edge or the chisel of the brush here to pull in a bit get a little lighter up here at the top think about your light source so the lights hitting up here maybe pull down a bit right there Pull in just a bit. So we're starting to add more and more color, color, color edges here. Pull in, pull in. But you can pull out too. Don't lock yourself in. So I can take a light color like this and pull out the edge of this petal out this way as well. And uh, set that up. You can pull in or out. And, you know, I used to, you know, when... I did a lot of folk art ones. We would, you know, create a technique and follow along with that technique. Now I do a number of different ways when I create these little guys. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to push this little face part of this one, though, out a little further right here. Kick it back in here. Let's give it a little bit more light right up there. That's better. Looking at the shape of them. There, like that. That's kind of pretty. And uh, let's go back. Now that this other one's tacked up and put a little bit more light violets here. Right in there like that. A little more light. Let's put a little more light here. A little more thicker white there. Push in and out. And if you get too much, just take it back out with some of your blues. Paint back and forth in kind of the shape of the pansy. Uh, there I took out too much of that um, the inside, so I'll just stroke some back out. Just like that, just kind of streak some of them out. There, I like that kind of blur of the color there that you get when you stick your fat finger in it too much. There you go. And right here, push that back and forth. So I really paint for the casual nature of it first and then I start to uh, you know build a little bit uh, more detail but I start out always kind of really casual let's put a little bit of this cool color in there that's kind of pretty let's take some of the brighter or the lighter quinacridone and just hit these back petals back here a bit just to say we got some on there. Let's push a bit of that, maybe a touch of red into that and set some of this, this one up. And all we're gonna do is on this one, because we don't wanna paint a perfect pansy, is we're just gonna streak some color around 
like maybe that is a pansy and maybe um, take like an edge of a petal here or something like that. It's turning down. So you're seeing the, the edge of it and you know, we don't have to have a, a a perfectly shaped pansy. We could shape it a little bit more that it's falling down here. Matter of fact, let's do that. Let's shape it a little bit more that it's um, falling down by curving these in and out like this. Yeah. Put a few streaks of that, that color in there. Yeah, that'll work. And, um, you know, if I'm doing something here like this and I'm going to change, you see, and into the background and stuff like that, I'll just paint something out like this, push that color around, and uh, not worry about that too much. You know, I used to uh, paint, you know, almost like a pattern type thing, and, uh, and it uh, really made my... My floral is very stiff, so now I, I paint really what the flowers need, what it needs. Uh, here we'll drop in a, an idea, maybe an idea of a little leaf or something coming out like this. There, so that one's coming down. This one's going to be coming down as soon as I finish up some of the front petals. Put a little yellow, maybe even a tiny touch of that yellow oxide this time because it's right up in the front. And uh, we'll push that right up into that, right up into that calyx there. And we'll do that again. Out like that. There we go. See, it's starting to turn. Nice little shaped one. We'll pull these other petals out. Almost like a little trumpet flower there, but it's just not opened up. We can uh, put a little more color here. Out, let that just kind of fade away here. A little bit. It is, so what I do is just put on lots of little touches of color. Let's get a little more green there. Little touches of color in there. And, um, you know, I can come back with some of that light blue, blue-violet kind of color right in through there. And this is how I, I'll take some of that out. See, I'll just take some of that out just like that. Leave some of the modeling in there so that you don't, you know, you don't always know where everything is. I mean, it's, it's, it has a, um, a mysterious quality to it. Or like Monet always says, you know, don't finish all of your stuff so perfectly so that because you rob the viewer of their Im imagination. And that's. And I always remember that, so I don't always give them perfect, finished off lines. I try to leave some of the stuff unfinished. So here we beat this a little bit more. We'll touch in a little bit more of the light right up here. That's kind of pretty. Different colors, warms, cools. Here we go, just like that. And um, some of the light here. Right up on the edge there. Let's do some of the light here. Right up like that. Lighter blue down, maybe make that so you can see that petal edge there just a little bit closer, a little bit more. Now I'm going to let those set up for just a minute. Um, let's take some of the light color, reds, red uh, quinacridone, and uh, light, and just touch in through here just a bit. Maybe that's a, you know, another one in there. 
but we don't have to make perfect shape. What I'm looking for, like I said before, is the color. Got a little, little bead of dried up paint there. Yeah, I'm just looking for the colors more than anything else because uh, here, just some of that color in there. We don't need to make a pansy in there. Make too many of them in there, your design comes shit, uh, very stiff. We just need a few, you know, light little colors, little colors here to say. And then we'll just let it, maybe a little light edge right there, like that's a petal edge. You know, we'll just let it go down from there. That's kind of nice. Put some lighter color right into that one right there. Maybe a um, bit of the idea of the face here. Red this time and some red violet. Like that, we will make a perfect, just a bit of the color there. Because it doesn't need to be uh, the viewer's eye is going to be coming right into here. Let's um, let's refine in here a bit more. Maybe some uh, pine green, burnt sienna, a little bit of our light colors. Maybe a little bit of our background blues here. So it's nice to kind of put a little extender in that blue. It stays nice here on your palette if you want to use it later on for anything. It's there. You have it. Here, so we can use it for some, you know, back making leaves and stuff like that as well. But we want to um, keep these leaves kind of streaky. We'll put some contrast in some of these areas right up here, like this uh, edge right in here. So I'm going to build the contrast, a little more color, a little thicker color. Like right up in here, this is that negative painting type. You could use that to really pop out your pansies right there in the center. Here, their edges and stuff. And uh, get some of that color movement in there. Right in there like that. Little touches of that color in here to help separate or move the leaves around and stuff. It's kind of nice. Let's, um, this one is um, still a bit flat right across the front here, so I'm going to extend it out even a little bit more. And even a little green in it is okay. Just picking up a bit of that green right there, it, you know, makes it feel like the petals are touch transparent. So, there we go. Let's build a little more light right there. We'll let these two become formal, which means they'll touch. So I'm gonna let these two touch and that gives a nice formality to your composition. It, it, it's called formal, formal, um, formal painting, where they come into contact with each other. I'm gonna widen this petal out a bit more. So you can see I'm watching the, the, the weaving, what we call the weaving of the petals, putting them in here and um, increasing the size of the pansy just a bit. Started out with this bare bones. Now, this isn't the only way I paint pansies. These are, you know, I'm painting this one a little different, but because I like to paint pansies in all different kinds of ways. But uh, here we'll get a bit more of our darker contrast, red violet. I set that out there. And that worked pretty well. Let's, um, yeah, that worked pretty well. Um, yeah, get some of the, the light light from that uh, yellow. Now, I do have my small round, and I do have uh, my number four round, which I like. And I think I will use that. We'll take some yellow, some of our yellows, maybe all three of our yellows here, and uh, a little white here, and um, let's bring that out right out of the throat here. That pansy, maybe a bit more yellow oxide, not quite that light. 
there. But you know, I, I do like to streak some of that light out of the center here. So let's just streak a little bit of that out. There, like that. Let's put some of this yellow into this one. Just a few little marks and so of that. Maybe a bit lighter up onto the light side, top side here. There, like that. Not quite so perfect line there. You don't want to. You don't want to have a cut off line perfectly there. So I'll take a little cornacridone and just back into it a little bit, just to take off that line, just a touch. And um, let's take some white, and some of that yellow, a little water. I my white's real thick, so I'll loosen it up with just a little water here. Because I'll put the little smile here. Call it the smile, the little turned edge and stuff here on the petals, a little smile. Right here, like that. Down along that turned edge. There, like that. And we'll put the shadow. Sometimes I put a little light dot in there. And this one, there, like that, okay. Sometimes we put a uh, different colored dot, sometimes we put a little, just a little shadow in there. We put a little red violet in there. Just like that, you can put a lighter dot in there if you want as well. That's good, I'm gonna go back to, uh, my six now boy i got I never had this many brushes in the water at the time at least not for many years kind of hard to find which one you're using so many in the water let's go back and start chunking up heavier lights color now you know this is where sometimes i will like some of them i painted in the floral classes and stuff i i uh Leave that nice chunky on those highlights and stuff. And you can clean up or, you know, you can just take your, your greens and clean up uh, any edges, negative paint-wise, and clean up the edges that way. You know, leave some of those colors and stuff like that in there. I want to come in, um, chunk up that, and I want to chunk up the other formal area here. Get some of this texturing of the color out here. And the camera doesn't always pick up all the textures, but I love the textures. I love the textures into the, um, into them because they, you know, the textures just add so much here to the, and let's just turn this one up just a bit. So, so you can paint these petals coming in and out in many different ways. And let's put just a touch of that light quinacridone down the edge of this one. There we go. Just looking for some variation in it. A couple of little pansy petals. Maybe a touch of the red violet quinacridone into this one, into the deep part of that one there. Just let that just fall out like that. I love it when I paint it just real quick like that and just leave it. That's when I enjoy it the most, the the I think it has the best casual look to it. Here, there we go, and uh, streak some of that color down. Get some of that light. See, so just kind of push and streak that down. Just leave that like that and. Let the viewer's imagination see the pansy. That's the that's the thing. Now, let's go in, take some of our yellows and our greens here. Maybe even a little bit of those blues. So those are pretty. Make some lighter colors here for the, the leaves here into the center. 
Maybe a bit more yellow green there. We want to get to some of these center leaves. Pretty light. Pretty light, but let's uh, pop some of those in. A crossing one right here. And just push. I'm going to push really hard so it kind of picks up some of the green underneath. Push through to that green underneath and get that variation in there like that. Then I can come back and then carefully lay in some texture to put in the highlights. So that's another way in which I like to do leaves here. And just, and I don't want to do all the leaves absolutely perfect or the same, and just want to push some color around here. And make them all a bit different. Let's push a little more shadow into this one right in there. There, let's a little bit more, a little burnt sienna and pine green, and uh, pull in towards that center. Imagine a center vein line there. Just kind of pull in towards that. Matter of fact, you can shoot a a light little center vein line if I can get enough white there. In right about like that. Shoot a little green in there. Push in and out. I like that. See that pushing in and picking up the colors underneath there. That um, works really nice. Change your color. Change your green a little bit. A little bit of yellow oxide into it. Let's put another set of leaves right up here. Cover up part of that one. That'll shove it back behind. Push in and out of it a bit. There. Time for a fresh paper towel. So we'll make the leaves in the center here a little bit brighter yellow green, a little bit lighter in color, a little bit more power to them here. Um, and then we'll get them a little bit more transparent. So a lot of texture here. We'll get them a little bit more transparent uh, as they go around here. Like that, so they get a little bit more, or a little bit less noticeable. And let's put some um, more burnt sienna and some of these greens out here. A little water, more transparent here. Just some. Just some movement out here, like that. Sometimes put a little lighter stroke of green and movement. So it's it's very imaginative, you know, a lot of an imagination there. You know, you see what it is you need to see. I don't want to, you know, you if you want to paint really casual, that and it's very hard in that you just. You just paint the imagination of it. You don't paint the specifics of it. So it's like I don't I don't need too much to say that's a leaf. Now I don't like how this pansy and that leaf just stop right by each other there. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and kind of push those together a little bit and just take a little more blue, make some light. A little bit of that violet, light, a little more violet. I'm looking for a color. It doesn't have to be the same color. Just looking for a color. See, that's a nice, cool color that goes right down in there and will help fill in. Stay right there. Really nice. And then, nice dirty color. It has a little green in it. Let's just come out with a little brighter, lighter yellow green here. Right on the edge. So the take a more formal. This leaf overrides that one just a bit. So if you leave a little line there, sometimes you know that's a, a bit distracting. And so 
I always try to bring my my flowers and, and my leaves and stuff into formality in and around the center here. So where they're just over a big old clump of white there, just overriding each other just a bit. Here, there, like that. Yeah, that works. It's kind of a fun little painting here. We'll um, tone down, but just really thin it down. Lots of burnt sienna and green, and we'll uh, kind of thin this down a little bit more here. And do uh, just some blurs of color. Some pushes. Here, little stems and stuff to take the eye out and up. Here, let's put a do, 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 do. let's make it light red. Here, kind of fun, you know. I like to just sit down and do this, and we'll push this right into a little blossom, a little bud, a little pansy bud here. Um, just moving the red up, we'll put a little red violet in it, here, take a little light green, pull that right down, that just sinks that little bud right in there, that looks pretty nice, a little bit more green, sometimes light, sometimes a pine green, sometimes pine green and a, a bit of the burnt sienna put in some different uh, colors here touch in this is just pine green and see how it just kind of lightens and brightens that whole area there where those pansies are just like that and uh, yeah just tether <clears throat> Excuse me, as you move out here, we work on some of these other areas. Here, little, little dribbles and marks. Like that, just quick little things. Those that to me are just kind of like, I just use my flat and just kind of drag it around. And there to me are some of the hardest things to do. Those little marks like that. You know, they, because especially if you get into a copy mode, like, oh, you're trying to copy exactly what I do or something like that. And you really shouldn't. You should just have some fun with it, you know. Um, but I understand that. I've been a teacher for a long time and students, they, you know, you, you want to copy. But the thing is, I could never paint this one again like this. I just can't do it. It's, it, this is not, uh, it's too casual. And, uh. So, you know, you just can't do it. So I don't even try. I just have some fun, you know, with it. And um, that's what you should do. Let's paint a lighter little leaf. Do something a little different. Let's make a nice light little yellow-green leaf. We have this one here. Let's bring one out. Maybe right in here like this, coming out this way. Other than that, that's a little different. And uh, bring some light on it. Streak that out. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Let's streak some of that light. Boom, maybe some of that's hitting that one right there. It's kind of nice. And um, yeah, let's we'll streak some of that light. Right there. Yeah, sometimes, you know, it, you build the best leaves by just, you know, moving the color, moving the color, moving the color around and around and around. And uh, sometimes I paint them just so simple. Sometimes I put just a bit more into them. Here I'll put just a touch more into them. Few other little touches of color and movements and the little sparks of stuff. 
I like those. And I like that. Little sparks of movement. Makes them just kind of feel like I could, I could, and I'm thinking that I probably should maybe bring up this one just a, a bit more. So uh, let's bring in some lighter yellow. I was, it was originally fine, but then I started adding all that stuff and making it more formal. Makes me want to see like the edge of one right here just a bit more. Right here. Push that out almost to that shape here. Um, just, uh, you know, I, I just want to push the edge and stuff of it that here. Kind of, kind of, you know, back like that one that's right up there. Matter of fact, we could give a little bit of an edge to that one right up there like that. Makes it even more of a pansy. But remember, don't don't paint them, you know, you want to paint the impression of them. That's when it, they get really nice, is when you just paint the impression of them. Imagine the, fly, the petal and not paint the petal perfectly here. Let's uh, get some imagination here there onto that one. Let's streak a little bit of that red out there. Right out there like that and some of that light pulling in just like that's gonna be one there. That's that'll work. Let's put a little cooler Right in on that one. Maybe just an idea. Something like that. No, that didn't work. I'll take some of that back. Just want to leave that edge. Um, and on that green leaf, I have a choice of either really lightening it up or darkening it. I think I'll try it just a bit lighter here since I here. There we go like that. Boy, I like this one over here. I like this uh, real light green gray coming out of that one. I think I'll build that just a touch more, a little more yellow in that green. It's really kind of nice. Those couple of strokes coming out like that, building that like that, just showing that light. And a little edge, there's the nice, little nice edge there. So there you have just some uh, fun little pansies. <clears throat> now, if you feel as you get back here and you feel like, okay, maybe I did uh, a little bit too much or something back up to there, a couple ways. One is you can take your paper towel with a little bit of water and if you run through that you'll see you can soften that out see so you can do it that way or you can do what I like to do is I like to streak a little more color sometimes a little different color into the back here and so I'll take a little blue a little bit of the violet let's take a little water and I like to always do this towards the end of the painting and just kind of pull through. I like to just pull through a bit. Sometimes I will, will make that a little bit lighter and pull the light source through, sometimes at an angle. Here today I'm bringing it in kind of up and down. But we'll pull through just like that and just uh, let some of that soft green come out in the back as that's overpainting it. Here, just like that. And then, uh, so I kind of like it like that. And then maybe continue that down right out over here. Some of that light color 
right down like that. I like that nice contemporary look of that, you know, filling that up and uh, pulling some of those colors through. It's kind of pretty and letting some of that, uh, you know, and you can do that with a smaller brush. Just come right in there like that and pull that through. Just break up some of that, that you know, heavier color. This is the contemporary part of it. Let that get this broken. So I don't use very much color. I don't use very much pressure. You just break it over like that. And um, you look for solid areas and just break it just a bit. And it adds a little bit more lightness and airiness to it. Now, I think I took out too much back here. So I'll just lightly suggest here the back couple of leaves in the air like that, just lightly, maybe just a little heavier right up by the front. That just helps you with your lifting of this one right off that um, right off that background, and then I'll go back to my. See, I gotta do something. I've never had these br this many brushes in there. I should have taken some of them out from the bird, but um, uh, it keeps it interesting trying to find it. And we'll bring out more of an edge here on these back ones here. There we go, and let's bring a little bit of that violet into that on this back one. Right there, just like that. That's kind of pretty. So I like the, the brokenness. I mean, you can play with that, you know, breaking up, uh, you know, some of the colors, some of these light colors, like the ones you just used there with the small brush. You just kind of drag that through like that and kind of breaks up some of that color, you know, and that's what um, makes that pretty. Don't use too much into the brush. You'll take out your opaque it rather than drag it like that. That's what I like to do is just that little bit of spark and dragging of the brush there. Um, breaks it through. Very, very contemporary look. Very popular contemporary look to drag through like that uh, into some of these uh, paintings in the flowers and stuff. So there, seeing it makes it lighter, airier, and kind of fun. Okay, alrighty. So you can look at that and how much color you want to put on them, and you know how much you want to build on them. I like them. Try not to have your petals the same size here. So. You know, make them all a little bit different. Maybe come back and hit a little bit more of an edge here. Right in there like that. And it's time for me to stop playing on that. I like them. They, they worked out pretty good. Pretty fun. Fast little painting of pansies. All kinds of, uh, you know, pa ways to uh, to paint them and stuff. You know, there's all, you know, I mean, a ton of different ways. Sometimes I put on the light and then I negative paint out with the dark. That works really good. I like these kinds of uh, these kinds of things as well. Okay, have some fun with it, and uh, you know, if you have any kinds of questions, you can always reach us by hitting that contact page, or go over and ask it up onto the Artist Network. There's a lot of teachers and stuff on their network, as well as I pop in there a couple times a week and um, check it out there too. As well. okay, okay, I'll see you on another one.